man, what's going on, bro? Hey, man, what's going on? How you doing? Bro, man, I'm doing good, man. I'm just, I'm just happy, man, to be saved, man. I just, just gave my life to Jesus, man. And, man, I feel like, like everything is different, man, about me. And now that, you know, I have a relationship with God and I'm just so excited. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You say like, come on, bro. Like, so, so you telling me, man, that we can't, we can't hang out no more. We can't, we can't go to the club and, you know, look at like, you know, drink and do all those things. You, you telling me that we can't, we can't do that no more, bro. I told you, man, that man, like I gave my life to Christ. Things have, um, things changed about me now. I don't desire those those things anymore. I don't. Oh, bro, bro, that's boring, bro. Your life is gonna be boring. Like, you're gonna be be like the rest of these Christians. Just think that they have to do everything right and stuff. So, I don't know about you, bro. bro it's not worth it for you to continue to live like this, bro. If you was to die like that today, bro, bro, you will be on your way to hell, man. And I don't want you to be there, bro. I just come to the Savior, man. I feel like that that's the best thing that, that happened to me. And I feel like the same thing can happen to you, man, if you just choose to give up this lifestyle man it's not worth it. bro but i i i, I want to have fun man i want to enjoy my life man you telling me if, if i become a christian i'm gonna have to stop doing those things i love looking at naked women and 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 drinking i love those things man bro i understand those things is just pleasing to the flesh man but it's not gonna it's not gonna feed your spirit man man what good is it for a man to gain the whole world and lose his his soul so being a christian man i know people have been saying oh man it's born and that born and and stuff like that man but really man you just give your life over to jesus christ man because he actually died for our sins two thousand years ago like everything that i was supposed to get punished for he got punished for on the cross so you telling me that the only thing that i have to do is just believe and he will wipe my sins away? Are you serious? Like that's the only thing that I have to do? The Bible, Romans 10 now says that if you confess out of your mouth that Jesus is Lord, that you shall be saved. And I feel like that is too good to be true, bro. Like really? Like so you telling me all you have to do is give my life and, and that's it? All you have to do, bro, is believe in your heart. John 3.16 says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So if you believe on the name of Jesus, you shall be saved. And when it comes to doing everything that was right, God sent his Holy Spirit to live on the inside of you for you can do continue to, to do those good things. The Holy Spirit is your power and he's your teacher and he convicts you of sin. Bro. Man, man, I'm ready, man. I'm tired of this, man. I'm tired of this, this life and, and this defeat, man. Um, going to those strip clubs and, and doing those things, man. And I feel like that I'm just trying to fill a void inside of my heart. And I really never had real peace, man. So, man, what do I have to do, man? I wanted to surrender now. Let me pray with you. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my brother right here that he wants to accept you as your dear Lord and Savior. He wants to, he believed that you died and, and rose. My friend, do you believe that Jesus has died and rose from the dead? Yes, I believe, I believe, yes. This day, God saved you. I hope that you was encouraged by this, by this video, the little skit that I, I chose to do to know how to get saved and what do you have to do. God says that if you believe in the name of Jesus Christ, that you will be saved.
we could try to do all the good works, but that is not good enough. Jesus Christ died on the cross for you. Our sin was put in Jesus' body and, and Jesus' flesh was condemned to death for me and you. So all you have to do is believe and ask God for the Holy Spirit to come live on the inside of you to keep you strong in these times that we're living in today. I hope that you enjoyed my first skit and that you be blessed.